So let us take a very simple example of sodium chloride. We shall see how this compound is formed. You see, sodium has a configuration of 2, 8, 1 electronic configurations. Sodium has 11 electrons, 11 protons, 12 neutrons. So, 11 would be divided into 2, 8, 1. 2 in the just two electrons in the first shell then one two three four five seven eight electrons in the second shell and the last shell will contain only one electron on the other hand chlorine has a configuration of 2, 8, 7. It has 17 electrons, 17 protons, 17, no not 17, 18 neutrons. So, its configuration will be 2 in the first shell, 8 in the second shell, 8. and then 7 in the final shell, or third shell. So, if you see carefully that now we know the octet rule, which was every uh, element wants to have eight electrons in their outermost orbit so in here sodium will want to donate this one electron so that it can have a configuration of two eight and it has eight electrons in its outermost orbit because after donating donating or just giving away this one electron you will have just two shells and then you have 8 in the outermost shell. Uh, you know, it can also accept 7 electrons. If you add 7 electrons, then it becomes 288. So, this also is a stable octet, but the problem is that adding 7 electrons is very, very, it requires a lot of energy than removing this one electron. This one electron will be more than happy to go out and easily give a electronic configuration of 2 8. So, this actually never happens in sodium. You always have this one electron being given out. On the other hand, chlorine has a configuration of 2 8 7. So, one possibility can be it donates this 7 electrons to make 2 8 which will be a stable octet because there are 8 uh, electrons in its outermost orbit. On the other hand, it can accept one electron and become 288. So, which one is easier? Taking one electron or giving away seven electrons? Obviously, taking one electron will be easier for chlorine because giving away seven electrons will require a lot of energy. This you need just one electron and you get a stable octet. Very easy. So, if you notice that sodium wants to give away one electron and chlorine needs one electron. So, what these sodium and chlorine do? They strike a deal. Sodium says, I am giving this one electron to you so that I am also happy with 28 and you are also happy with 288. So, first what happens is that sodium will become sodium plus and give out one electron because it gives out an electron, it has 
still 11 number of protons but earlier it had 11 electrons but now it has 10 electrons so there is one extra proton so there is a positive charge on sodium and you have an electron being given out now this electron has become free and what this chlorine does is that it accepts this electron and it becomes Cl minus because it has an first it had 17 protons and 17 electrons now there is one more electron so 17 protons and 18 electrons so one extra negative charge so it is negatively charged and this is the basically the formation of NaCl sodium gives away its electron and chlorine accepts the electron so actually it does not just sodium and chlorine do not just come together and form NaCl sodium becomes Na plus which is called sodium ion and which is a positively charged ion and chlorine becomes chlorine minus which is called a chlorine chloride ion and so it becomes NaCl so now both the sodium and chlorine are very happy but you will be asked in questions to explain this with diagrams and this is where we enter into electron dot structures What they'll ask you is that describe the formation of sodium chloride with the help of electron dot structure. So what are electron dot structures? They are basically the structures of these elements where the electrons in the outermost orbit are shown by crosses and dots. So we have a cross over here because sodium contains only one electron in its outermost orbit and chlorine on the other hand has whenever you are making electron dot structures of two different elements and combining them together always use cross for one element and dot for another element. you can use dot for this and cross for this also no objection but don't use cross for both the elements use so that you can say that this this electron belongs to sodium and this these electrons originally belong to chlorine and then what you have is the transfer of this sodium gives away its electron chlorine accepts the electron so it becomes Na plus Na plus give a box just to separate the two and Cl or you can write plus over here also with now Na has no electron so no you don't have any electrons to draw around Na and Cl has these seven electrons plus an electron gained from sodium so now this cross indicates that this electron actually belong to sodium and these dots the electrons actually belong to chlorine so this will give na plus and then subsequently cl minus so you have to show this transfer of electrons from na to cl and then show this first step you show this or first you have to write all these things that na gives na becomes na plus plus electron 
chlorine plus electron will give chlorine minus and then write these two equations first and then draw this this first draw this then draw this and then you can say NaCl if you wish and draw this thing with when sodium is donating its electron to chlorine make the arrow point towards chlorine so that it shows that chlorine is taking the electron or sodium is giving the electron to chlorine and then you have to draw the ions with the uh, with your dots 